Hey guys, I'm Janelle, and I'm going to show you how to do matrix multiplication. If there's anything to like about matrices, is that you can pack a lot of calculations into a couple variables. But sadly, with matrix multiplication, you have to unpack all of that stuff. But the good news is that the steps for matrix multiplication are basic. The bad news is that there are a lot of steps, and it gets really confusing. But we'll walk through it, and it'll get easier over time, and that's what I'm here for. So, let's do this. So here's a matrix. For other things you can do with matrices, like addition and subtraction, the matrices have to be the same size. But it's not that way with multiplication. The matrices can be two different sizes, or you can multiply a matrix by constant, like this. So let's not spend a lot of time on this because it's pretty basic. When you multiply a matrix by a constant, you multiply each element in the matrix by the constant, and then you get a new matrix that's the same size as the original one. So that's it. Each element gets multiplied, six different multiplications, and boom, you've got a new matrix. So, what happens when you multiply one matrix by another one? So here's an equation where two matrix variables are being multiplied. I said earlier that the matrices can be different sizes, but the size of the matrices does matter. So the thing to remember is that the number of columns in the first matrix has to equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So you look at the size of matrix A, see there are two rows, remember rows come first in the size of matrix and three columns. In matrix B, there are three rows. So the columns in matrix A equal the rows in matrix B. So you can multiply them. It's funny how I came up with an example that works. Here are some other ones. So a good way to remember whether or not you can multiply two matrices is to look at the inner numbers on the matrix sizes and see that they match. Come down here, we've got the 2 and the 4. They don't match, can't multiply. Down here we've got the 9 and the 9, so you can multiply them. You can also look at the outer numbers, and that'll give you the size of the new matrix that you get when you're done. So now, let's look at how you can actually multiply two matrices. So here we have two matrices with all the elements written out. So we know that when we multiply them, the new matrix will have two rows and two columns. So for each new element in C, we're going to multiply every element in a row in matrix A by every element in a column in matrix B. That's why the number of rows in the first matrix have to match the number of columns in the second matrix. So for the first element in C, let's begin with the numbers in the first row in matrix A. Now we multiply each of those by the numbers in the first column in matrix B. Finally, we take the results of all the multiplying and add them together to get the new element. So this is it. This is the tricky part you have to remember. So every element in the first row of the answer is going to be made up of all the elements in the first row of A. Just like every element in the first column of the answer is going to be made up of all of the elements in the first column of B. So here are the other elements. So you can see it's the same thing with all the other elements. The rows line up in the first matrix, and the columns line up in the second matrix. So 
So what if the equation were this? And then you would get this. And because the outer and inner numbers are different when you change the order of variables, the size of the answer changed. So keep that in mind. If you change the order of matrices being multiplied, you're going to get a totally different answer. And sometimes you won't be able to multiply at all. I really hope this helped you understand how to multiply matrices. I know it's a lot to wrap your head around, but remember, you don't have to do it alone. And if you don't like math, that's okay. You don't have to, but you can like my videos. So if you did, please like or subscribe.